Today, I'm going to go over with you my five top things that you should never put on your face. Well, let's start with number five. I've been seeing videos like this on TikTok. Five things you shouldn't put on your face. These are the things you shouldn't do to your face if you want to have a flawless face, if you want to achieve your skin, your dream skin. And this particular one, I want to talk about it. But before we do, I want you to sit down, relax, and watch the video to the end so that we can, you know, sit down and talk about it. Because there are some things I don't agree with. We help health conscious women over 30 look their best by teaching them a holistic approach to health and beauty. And today I'm going to go over with you my five top things that you should never put on your face. Well, let's start with number five it's bar soap. Now, I'm a guy. You know, I have applied, I've used bar soap to cleanse the skin of my face countless times, like most other men and probably most other women. But bar soap is not good to wash your face with. Bar soap is very drying to your skin and it often contains sodium lauryl sulfate. Now this is a substance that causes the soap to lather really well because we like lathering, don't we? Well unfortunately that same lathering substance can really, really dry your skin. So use bar soap on your body if you want, but keep it away from your face. Well my number four thing you've got to keep away from your face is petroleum jelly. So you may have had it applied by your mother or your grandmother onto your face or your lips and it was seen and has been seen for a long time as the ultimate natural moisturizer. Well take a look at what it is. Jelly isn't so bad, but petroleum? It was actually, uh, it was actually discovered at the bottom of basically petroleum barrels and this is where it comes from. And this is not good for your skin. Uh, it can also clog your pores. It's very occlusive. If you've got any history of any type of acne, not good to put on your skin. So stay away from petroleum jelly, honestly, over your whole body. Uh, there are some natural ones made of beeswax that I would go with instead of petroleum. Well, another thing you want to avoid is body moisturizer. Body moisturizer is great for your body, but not so great for your face. And like petroleum jelly, body moisturizer can clog your pores. It can cause you to break out. Now you can go to the store and you can buy body moisturizer in these big bottles for just a few dollars. As long as it doesn't contain harmful ingredients, with unfortunate, which unfortunately a lot of them do, then it's not a bad idea to use that for your body. But for your face, stick with a good facial moisturizer. Well, my number two is rubbing alcohol. Now, astringents, you may have heard of that, or toners often contain alcohol in it and it gives the same feeling as rubbing alcohol on your skin and that feeling basically is a nice clean squeaky clean colder type of a feel and it feels good to put it on your skin but what it does basically is it rubs off all of the oils of your skin and there are people who have real oily skin they have acne issues excess sebum and they think that using rubbing alcohol or astringents can get rid of that oil but what happens is, is it gets rid of the oil temporarily, but then your skin realizes that it's missing oil and it creates even more oil uh, in response. And so what can happen is you can get into this vicious cycle where if you've got oily skin and you're using rubbing alcohol or astringents or toners with alcohol, that your skin actually gets more and more oily. Stay away from it. I know you're wondering what is my number one thing that you should avoid putting on your face and this one's going to be a bit controversial. It is, yes, that. So there are sperm facials that are very popular. Uh, people literally sell sperm facials for hundreds and hundreds of dollars and there is this belief that applying semen or sperm basically to your skin is actually good for it. Well, the reality is probably pretty far from that. Uh, people say, well, because it contains antioxidants, it's good for the skin. Marginally, but we really haven't tested just how much antioxidants are in that. Uh, the other thing is that people say, well, it contains a lot of protein. Well, meat contains a lot of protein as well, and, and we don't necessarily apply meat to our skin, do we? And the other thing with semen and sperm, basically, is that it contains often, well sometimes, depending on the company that you keep, it can contain sexually transmitted diseases. So now let's talk about the fifth one, which is putting bath soap on your face. It is bad and all of that. So 
something to me about skincare i feel like skincare do what works for you and this old cherry putting back on your face chip up your oil on your skin some people are like have really really oily skin that basil cannot strip off the oil on their skin and it works for them there was a time i was i had like serious acne back in the years i think when i was in school there's this particular bath soap i was using anti pimple soap i have reviewed this soap in my one of my videos before this soap is a bath soap and it was working really well for me it doesn't strip off any it, it, it makes my skin feel so soft and i feel like it even makes my skin a bit oilier so i don't know why people are just saying don't use bath soap on your skin because yeah 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 just the way they say stop using black soap on the face i understand the black soap because i don't even go away with black soap but bath soap in general i'm not going to criticize bath soap because bath soap have saved some skin including mine for years and i think one reason why i stopped using the soap is because number one i get tired but so when you're using a product for a long time your skin get used to it so yeah what do you think about the bath soap thingy do you think it's something you have to cut off completely or something that it just works for some skin type and doesn't work for the skin type when it comes to facial gels i think that's what they recommend facial wash and all of that i like them so well they're calm and all of that but to be honest you can't take off bath soap from us you can't there's one thing i agree with him which is the body cream don't put your body cream on your face and that's one thing we didn't know back in the years and we're doing it and right now we don't do it again when it comes to rubbing alcohol i feel like there are some skincare issues that you should use um a toner that contains alcohol you just use it for treatment then you stop it it's not something that you use on a continuous basis but just for treatment like two to three months then you stop it totally i won't like totally condemn alcohol and um, toners that contains alcohol but if you're battling with acne serious ones there's some toner that contains alcohol that will dry it up and make it go faster than the ones that doesn't contain alcohol let me know what you think down in the comment section and i find it difficult to make this video because there are noise here and there you guys i want to know that in the comment section what you think you agree with and what you don't there are a lot of things i see on tiktok that i always come here to talk about and which i find interesting personally i just want to share with you guys all right hi guys my name is maria david and i'm a content creator based in lagos nigeria and don't forget to like this video subscribe and share to where i find it helpful comment down in the comment section let me know what you think about this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye